Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What was John F. Kennedy's stance on civil rights? When John F. Kennedy became president in 1961, African Americans faced significant barriers to equality, including denial of voting rights, segregation in public facilities, and violence. Initially, Kennedy was cautious about pushing civil rights legislation due to his narrow election victory and the need to maintain support from Southern Democrats. Kennedy's early approach focused on executive actions rather than legislative solutions. He appointed African Americans to high-level positions, strengthened the Civil Rights Commission, and used executive orders to prevent racial discrimination in federal employment and federally funded housing. In 1963, Kennedy's stance on civil rights evolved significantly. The violent backlash against civil rights demonstrations, particularly the 1963 Birmingham campaign, compelled him to take stronger action. On June 11, 1963, Kennedy delivered a landmark speech calling civil rights a moral issue, and for the first time, he expressed that the pursuit of racial equality was not just legal, but also morally just. This speech was a response to the escalating tensions and Governor George Wallace's defiance at the University of Alabama. Kennedy emphasized the need for comprehensive civil rights legislation, including voting rights, public accommodations, and fair employment practices. Despite this shift, Kennedy still faced opposition from Southern conservatives and was advised by many that pushing strong civil rights legislation would be a political mistake. However, he decided to move forward, driven by his brother Robert's urging that the future of the country was at stake. Kennedy's commitment to civil rights was further demonstrated by his meetings with various leadership groups, including business executives, religious leaders, and union leaders, to garner support for his proposed legislation. While Kennedy's efforts were seen as a significant step forward by many civil rights leaders, such as Martin Luther King Jr., others felt that his actions were still insufficient and too cautious. The comprehensive civil rights legislation Kennedy advocated for did not pass during his presidency, but laid the groundwork for Lyndon B. Johnson's eventual success in passing the Civil Rights Act of 1964. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.